Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today I'm going to do another tutorial on Groove Agent SE4 uh, within Cubase 7.5. So let's get started. Uh, I've got three kick drum samples here, uh, and I've already got a Groove Agent assigned on VST Instruments. So if we open up the Groove Agent to start with, here you can see the blank Groove Agent. So what we'll do to start with is we'll just drag one sample onto C1. Now what you've got is three boxes appear. Um, if I was dragging multiple samples onto here, I'd use this one. And what this would do would be to um, put samples on each individual pad. In fact, let's just quickly do that now. So I'll grab the three, click the bottom one, and as you can see, it's placed a sample on each individual drum pad. So let's just undo. So now if I did the second one, what that would do would be to replace uh, an existing sample. So if we put that one on there, the medium, and we want to put the hard one on and replace it, we'd do that. And you can see there it's replaced it. Now if you just wanted to put a sample straight on the pad, let's just undo. You could just use the top one. Simple. Now, now that we've got sample on here, um, within this main main window here, you can see we've actually got uh, quite a lot of things we can do with the sample to start with. So we've got the start point, sample start point, sample end point. Let's move that in. You got uh, like a fade in a little top one or a fade out it's made that nice and snappy also you've got your, your general controls volume pan pitch up and down a, a, an octave fine tune also here you've got like your amp envelope sample again slice you can do pretty much all sorts in there i will do a more in-depth tutorial on those uh, but for now if uh, we just stick to what we're doing here so there you go you've instantly got your sample in let's remove that now what we'll do this time we'll drag all three samples in and we'll put them all on one pad and what you've got here as soon as you've put them in these are basically the velocity levels for each sample so if i if i hit the uh, keyboard really hard i'm getting that one if i do it medium weight getting that one soft now also what we've got here in this mode uh, we're doing it by velocity you can adjust the velocity of, of, of each of these as well so you might only want the soft if it's just really gently hit like that. So really handy. Also we can do a round robin. Now what this will do is it'll um, scroll through each sample. As you can hear, random. layer is all three samples at once so random exclusive so lots and lots of different variants just with you can see there three samples obviously we could go into each individual sample and you know manipulate the envelope of it and, and make it gel together to create sort of one kick drum if you wanted take the boom off one so let's let's so that's the soft medium and we've got the boom on that one so for instance let's let's we don't want that we'll maybe just have the put this on layer medium right tear that off so 
there you go out of those three kick drums we've now got one cohesive kick drum maybe put the pitch up on this one So there you go really 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 powerful tool again i'm just scratching the surface of uh what is possible within groove agent 4 i'm hopefully going to do quite a few tutorials on this alone because there is so many different elements uh to get used to and yeah obviously we're just on one pad there we can build up full complex kits and there's loads of exciting things we can do with the midi elements of it uh, which I will get to in a later tutorial. So that's basically just about importing samples and what you can do with the samples once in there. Again, if you've got any questions, please do get in touch. And yeah, until next time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.